Hello everyone. I have made some progress on the finger assembly uh, in addition to the scoring. So now I have all these plates done, all 10, uh, for all the pins, so it can now score. In addition, I've begun to work on the fingers. Right now I have the first five fingers working, but there's a slight problem that I'll get into a little later. Uh, but I can just show those working. Uh, so it goes down. You'll hear a click whenever the pin makes contact with whenever the pin pushes up the plate for the switches. So I just have four pins right now. So, so hopefully you heard heard that. Uh, unfortunately, well, one of the problems I'm having is that unfortunately the table is able to kind of do kind of move back and forth which is making it not score the head pin accurately, so I kind of have to press it forward as I go down. But it's pressing it, that one at least, um, and all the others, it's just the head pin. So if I, if I close the fingers, I'll try to show it. It can handle, it, it can pick it up, and it can even handle off-spot pins, which is pretty typical design at this point, uh, but can handle off-spot pins, uh, and then it can move up, and still has the pins picked up. For, forgive the, the light, it's not, it's not focusing very well. And the, you know, it can swivel like that, and then go back down. Move it out and breaks. Uh, so what I have is in, in order to support it. So I just uh, have a very simple thing where they all move forward or they all move backwards. So all of them are mounted from behind. So what this lets me do is just have a simple frame linking all of them together. So whenever, for instance, whenever I push the one back here forward. It pushes the one here forward, and also over here, it's kind of hard to see, also the one over, over there forward. So they, they all move at the same time. Also, in order to keep things secure, keep, you know, keep, keep everything on its track, uh, so showing the actual fingers, well, I should probably show how the fingers work first. Sorry, sorry if this is kind of a shaky video. I'm trying, I'm trying to move the camera a little slower than the last video. Um, so, pretty typical design. You can swivel, move back, and move forward. Um, but the kind of cool thing is that I have the things holding up each pin holder. I have those serving multiple functions. So of course it supports the pin holder, allows them to rotate. Uh, I should probably open them up before doing that. Uh, so it supports them, allows them to rotate, and it keeps them from rotating too far. But also it acts as end stops for the fingers so the, they don't open, so that one doesn't open much further than the other and, and end up with, with something where the finger's in the middle and this one's way over. It acts as end stops. Then also, it supports the track. So these these ones in the middle are able to let me try to get a better view. Uh, it's a little hard to see since it's blue on blue, but basically the track goes within the stationary piece that allows these to rotate. So I have pieces serving multiple functions basically, uh, which I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Uh, there is one problem that I've encountered though, uh, with the five, eight, and nine pins. If I so the fingers are obviously going to be open whenever I rotate. But if I try to set down the five pin or the eight or the nine, the same problem occurs. It runs into the track. It might be a little easier if I can try to get from the back on the eight pin. It might be a little bit easier. So if I try to rotate it up, 
it runs, sorry about that, it runs into the track. It runs into the track here. Uh, so I am working on fixing that. Um, I'm thinking just having the track go lower at that point, uh, just, just at that one small section. Uh, but I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, thank you for watching.